Okay, hi! Um, welcome back to another video. Today I'm basically going to be talking about one of my like kind of toxic friends that I had at one point and we basically almost got into a fight because she threatened to fight me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to be talking about that today. I just got into an accident, lovely. And I'm also got, not going to be like saying their real names, I'm going to be like covering it up with like other fake names just for the sake of the video. So just for like a little like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, just for like a little background story, um, this girl, we're going to call her Kayla. Um, she's dating this guy, we're going to call him Oscar, in sixth grade and it was like it was basically like how most middle school relationships go where it's not very serious you guys are dating just because you guys like kind of have like a small crush on each other and whatnot so it like it really wasn't that serious and i think they only dated for like maybe like at most three months i'm not even actually completely sure but so yeah it was just one of those relationships where you could tell that it wasn't meant to be anything serious it was kind of just like a cute first love kind of thing and so yeah, it's like the backstory, and now we're gonna flash- oh my god, I keep falling. Anyways, we're gonna flash forward to like 8th grade. Um, I forget if this was 8th grade or freshman. I think this was freshman actually, I apologize, not 8th grade. Um, this was freshman, flashback to freshman year. And I started dating the same guy, we're gonna- the Oscar guy basically. And none of us thought that it would be any like problem us dating, but I guess it was to Kayla for some reason. Oh my god, I'm getting railed, okay. And she basically messaged me because she had my number and she was saying like, she was telling me how she had a problem with like us dating because I was supposed to quote unquote ask her for permission before I dated him. And that I was also like breaking some sort of girl code. The girl code part I can like completely understand because like if we're friends or like best friends then obviously you wouldn't just go and like date the, like their ex. But like me and her are definitely not best friends. Like we were not close whatsoever. Like I would basically paint her as like an acquaintance in my mind. So it kind of like made no sense as to why i had to ask her for permission before i dated her dated sorry i dated him first but yeah even after i explained it to her and i told her that we weren't even like that close and that there was no reason for me to ask her for permission and that it was like my life and like my privacy basically she still got like really really upset with me and we started this whole like text fight basically also why is pink so sweaty And so yeah, I kept like basically telling her that like there was no reason for me to tell her in the first place because we weren't like that close of friends. And she was kind of like going off on me <laughs> and she was like swearing and everything and giving me- being like really sarcastic overall. Oh my god, I actually killed him. And mind you, during this whole like text conversation, I have the receipts and I was not swearing at her at all. I was literally just explaining to her the whole time why I thought that like I didn't necessarily even have to and that there was no reason for me to tell her about us since it was like my own privacy. And then towards the end, I was saying like, Kayla, like if you're not willing to cooperate with me on this and you're just going to keep going off on me, then like... <laughs> it's very clear that you're not trying to like solve this you just want to get a rise out of me or something like that and she was like oh so you think you're the bigger person then how about we like meet in person and then i could even show you my quote-unquote shit in person that is exactly what she said i literally quoted it like word for word and i thought about like reporting the things that she said to my counselor but my counselor kind of like i don't know like my counselor like kind of sucks like i don't even think she would believe me even though i had like our entire text conversation laid out for her and in the midst of it um i was pretty active on tiktok at the time so i would basically post like consistently this is like my main tiktok by the way <laughs> not my um ign one but yeah so i posted a tiktok and it wasn't aimed at her it was meant for like an in general kind of thing but she still thought it was about her for some reason dude i have like no more blocks left and they're like both there oh my god okay 
And even even when my TikTok had no mention of her name whatsoever, and it was something that I was completely free to like post, she still ratted me out to the counselor, that one counselor that like nobody likes. And the counselor believed her because she basically cried to the counselor and told her that it was like what I was doing or like I was harassing her or something. And the counselor is like the type of counselor that would like believe like all the innocent people. So without any evidence, the counselor was like, okay, I think Kayla's like, you know, being the right one in this situation. And the counselor pulled me out of class and she was explaining to me the whole situation, which I already knew. And she's basically telling me how like I should probably delete the TikTok. And I was considering telling like the counselor that I had like screenshot proof of like the things that she said to me but she just didn't want to see it for some reason and so in the end she literally <laughs> my counselor literally made me delete the tiktok when there was no mention of her name whatsoever and i had every right to not delete it since that was my account we basically just never talked after that because we are both kind of like iffy with each other oh how's our bed gone um i don't think i'm gonna win this um but yeah that basically concludes it for the story um she's kind of like like she just whenever like we pass each other in the halls she like looks down i don't know why okay i really hope you guys enjoyed that little story time let me know what other videos you guys want to see next make sure to subscribe smash like and sub um i said subscribe two times um comment do whatever you want to do i don't really mind yeah um i love you have a good day and bye bye